Hey, Ross Robertson, we're here at Fish USA. We're talking about dipsy divers. If you want to fish deep really efficiently, a dipsy diver definitely has to be in your arsenal. They're really a neat, simple tool. You don't require a lot of fancy equipment to use them. Essentially, here is a dipsy diver made by Lure Jensen, and we have a left and a right. So left side of the boat, right side of the boat, and the dial goes from zero to three. So we're at zero, one, two, and three. So you can basically space these out almost like having planer boards without having to use a planer board able to use multiple discs per side. Just like anything else, there's different sizes. This is a one, which is what a lot of walleye guys use. There is a Magnum that's larger, and there's a couple sizes that are smaller, and they do a really good job at Lure Jensen of showing you what the actual sizes, the depths that they can achieve, so you can choose the, the depth that's and size that's best for your application. A couple little tricks that I like to do is I like to put a little VMC uh, number three dual lock on the back side and that way I can attach my leader on and off really easily without having to have another knot and cutting and tying and then I use a little um, again VMC snap swivel there on the front end and that's going to eliminate a lot of twist. One thing that a lot of guys do wrong when fishing these is they fish them way too fast when they're letting them out. So when you are actually setting this what you're going to want to do is set this tension here on this diving because this is going to clip in there and it's going to force this down. Now when the fish strikes, this is going to release and you're not going to have to fight this diver so you don't feel like you're bringing in a sheet of plywood at the same time. So that's a really important thing to kind of mess with this a little bit. We've also got different sizes of rings. So you can take this off and you're going to have less surface area and it's actually going to go shallower. You put this on, you're going to get a little more depth and they actually make a larger ring to get you even deeper. So there's little tweaks as far as being able to get deeper with the same disc or uh, shallowing it up as well. Make sure that this tension is set right. That's a really, really big deal. Leader length is also kind of a hot topic. Like I'm fishing a little crawler harness here. We've got a little silver streak harness and I like really long leaders. So the cleaner the water, the longer the leader that you're gonna use. In most cases, I would say start with six feet or a rod length at minimum. And as you get longer for the cleaner water, it's gonna make a really big difference in the amount of hookups and, and bites that you get. In some cases when fishing harnesses, you know, 12 or 14 feet may be the maximum on that. Um, if you're not getting bit, definitely lengthen your leader. And I also like a, a fairly stiff fluorocarbon line for that. It's gonna be less visible, less hangups, and you're gonna get good action with those longer leaders if you're using something like a spoon. But whatever you choose, just make sure it's not a diving type lure because we want a shallow. This is gonna get us to our depth. So you can use a crankbait, but you want more like a stick bait, something with a shallow, like a shallow husky jerk or a small silver streak trolling spoon, like a junior or a mini or a crawler harness. Um, something with blades, if you're gonna go faster, like willows are gonna work out a lot better for you. And then rod wise, you know, you're gonna generally wanna have a couple different lengths if you're really getting into this. And the reason is simple. When you put these, you want that rod tip in near the rod holder, near the water, so we're getting the maximum amount of depth. So if you can kind of picture that when you have multiple rods on the same side, you don't want the tips crashing into each other. So having different lengths, anywhere from seven and a half to maybe nine feet, salmon fishermen I use them up to probably 10 feet, but having a couple different lengths on each side will make a really big difference for not getting tangled up when they start banging and you're netting a fish on the other side or whatever it may be. On reels, using the Shimano Takotas, that's a long staple for all the Great Lakes trollers because having a counter is really important so that you can duplicate that depth that you just caught that fish at or maybe duplicate it and change it if you weren't catching fish. And another thing a lot of guys like to use is braid. Something like this around 30, 40 pound test is gonna allow you to not only get deeper, but it's gonna allow you to see those light bites and it's gonna allow that mechanism to trip a lot easier. So there's a lot of different moving parts with the dipsy diver, but don't get overwhelmed. It's a really easy way to fish deep and get there and circle back on them. It's a lot easier than if you have planer boards that are spanning hundreds of feet. You can turn quickly on fish and it's not expensive to get into. So if you're fishing walleye, salmon, steelhead, or whatever it is, summertime especially, dipsy divers will help you get there and get fish on.